But, uh, Mr. President, last week, uh, the senior senator, or the junior senator from Vermont, uh, and a group of other Democrats unveiled a proposal to have Washington take over health care for everyone in America. Some refer to it as Bernie Care. Uh, they intended to do this on the backs of American seniors, which is of great concern to me as a doctor who's taking care of many senior citizens, many people on Medicare as part of my practice as an orthopedic surgeon. Their idea is to put everyone in, the camp, on, in, this, in this country on a new program that operates like Medicare. Now, that's about 250 million Americans who would be added onto a program, Medicare, that is already being strained. One third of the Democrats in the Senate have signed on to this plan. It seems to be the uh, litmus test for the liberal left. Uh, several of them came to the floor last night to criticize Republican efforts, efforts by the Republican Party to save America's failing health care system as the problems re re resulting to the American health care system as a result of Obamacare continue to get worse. And the impacts are such of those that I hear them every weekend in Wyoming, including this past weekend. From what I've heard from the Democrats, they seem to want to let the system collapse in a way that they can then impose a complete Washington takeover of health care in America. Well, to me, this plan that they're proposing is going to be devastating to people currently on Medicare. These are the seniors that rely on Medicare today. What the Democrats are proposing is going to, in my opinion, undermine the stability the integrity and the certainty of the Medicare program that our seniors rely on, and for them it is truly their lives that depend upon it. You remember when President Obama promised that if people liked their insurance, they could keep their insurance. If they liked their plan, they could keep their plan. Well, people realize that that is not exactly what happened. Many people lost their plan, lost their insurance, it got more expensive, harder to afford. Millions end up paying a fine, a fee, or a tax, whatever you want to call it, because they weren't able to afford the premiums for the plan that President Obama said they had to buy, and they lost their own plans? Well, now it seems that if Democrats have their way, millions of seniors will find out that they're not going to be able to keep the insurance that they have right now, that they depend upon, and that they use on a daily basis. The Sanders plan will get rid of Medicare Advantage plans. We have 17 million seniors in this country who are on a Medicare Advantage plan. The reason they sign up for Medicare Advantage is that for them, personally, when they have studied it, there are advantages to Medicare Advantage for them. In terms of preventive care, in terms of coordinated care, that would all go away under Bernie Care. Well, it, it's interesting to watch this whole process unfold because about one in three people who are currently on Medicare have chosen to go outside the system the Democrats want to put them into. They want to put everyone into it, but a third of the people on Medicare have chosen a different way. So what happens to these 17 million Americans who are currently on Medicare Advantage with the scheme that Senator Schumer and others, uh, Senator Sanders and other Democrats have come up with? They don't say. Did the Democrats who came to the floor last night have anything to say about these 17 million seniors who would be losing their Medicare? Seniors who are on Medicare today, what's going to happen to them? They're going to lose what they have today. A lot of seniors are probably going to lose access to their doctors as well. Because when their plans change, their doctors change. That's because there are going to be doctors who won't be able to take care of these new Medicare patients that, the Obama, that, the, uh, that Obamacare has caused to have problems, but is made worse with what is being proposed by Senator Sanders. You know, right now, Mr. President, it can be tough for a senior to find a doctor. These are seniors on Medicare. That's because today about one in four doctors doesn't take new Medicare patients. Uh, or take any Medicare patients. But certainly as more and more people and 10,000 baby boomers a day are turning 65 going on to Medicare, uh, there are more and more people on Medicare without an expansion of the number of doctors to take care of them. And since the reimbursement is lower, what doctors and hospitals are paid to take care of Medicare patients is lower 
than what those doctors or hospitals get paid for patients with private insurance. Their priority, when they're already crowded and loaded in their office and very, very busy taking care of patients with waiting rooms full, their choice, of course, is then to choose patients who, get, who pay them more than what they get from the government. And you say, well, why is that? Is that right? Well, ha having practiced medicine for 24 years, having run a, an, a, an office, you know, there are issues related to paying nurses, health care personnel, rent, electricity fees, all the costs of running an office, let alone the high cost of medical malpractice insurance. We know that the huge cost of that. So a physician who wants to be able to pay his or her bills needs to take all those things into consideration. And with Medicare paying less than the current going rate for care to hospitals and doctors, the concern is that will Medicare patients be able to find a doctor in the first place? So the Democrats' solution is cram more people onto Medicare when we already have 10,000 people a day joining the ranks on Medicare and on Social Security. So if a doctor has a lot of Medicare patients, he or she has to make sure that they have enough other patients who have insurance to make up for the lower rates that Washington pays. Well, under the Democrat plan, doctors won't have the backup of private insurance companies because that's all going to go away. All of those things will be lost to people even who want to buy private insurance under the plan that the Democrats are now pointing at. It's not just Democrats in the Senate. A majority of the Democrats in the House of Representatives have co-sponsored legislation by Representative Conyers that does exactly the same thing. Puts everyone on a Medicare program, a government takeover of health care. So when the Democrats came to the floor last night, I didn't hear them say anything about that. How are they going to guarantee that seniors can keep their doctors? Seniors are not going to be able to keep their doctors under the Sanders liberal left plan that's being proposed and co-sponsored by half of the Democrats, over half of the Democrats who are in the House of Representatives. Mr. President, we're already facing a shortage of doctors in this country. Uh, the um, Association of American Medical Colleges that helps uh, oversee training of doctors says that shortfall could be as many as 100,000 doctors across the country within the next decade. And if we have fewer doctors and more people trying to get appointments, that means less access for seniors. Like it's not even clear if Washington can afford to add every man, woman, and child onto the government program like Medicare. Because Washington has done a terrible job in running Medicare as it is. The Medicare Trust Fund is supposed to be exhausted at the end of the, 19, at the, end of the 2020s. That's what the Medicare trustees are telling us. In 12 years, they say there will only be enough money coming in to fund about eight or nine cents on the dollar of what the benefits for Medicare are supposed to be paying out. So the program is going to have to start doing something, either raising taxes or cutting benefits. And from what I've seen proposed by uh, Senator Sanders, it would be raising taxes a lot. The Medicare trustees say the program needs significant reform. They say it's already unsustainable. The Democrat plan that does nothing to change any of that, it does nothing to reform the program. All it does is crowd more people into a system that is already struggling financially. <clears throat> Mr. President, the Democrats' plan, my concern is, is going to undermine the stability of the Medicare program that our seniors desperately need. We should be taking steps now to shore up, to strengthen Medicare, so it's able to keep the promises that we've made to our seniors. My goal is to save, to strengthen, and to simplify Medicare. That's not what we're seeing here. A few years ago, we knew that Medicaid program, not Medicare, but the Medicaid program needed help. Democrats just threw more people into the system with Obamacare. That's what they did. The expansion of Obamacare, the majority of people that have new coverage under Obamacare didn't do it through private insurance. They got it through being put onto the Medicaid program, which has significantly strained Medicaid and has a made it much harder for people on Medicaid, who it was original, originally designed for. Low-income women, children, people with disabilities. It was designed to help them. Made it harder for them to get care 
because all these added individuals who were working age adults were put on in addition. Well, now it looks like the Democrats want to do the same thing that they did to hurt Medicaid to make it harder for our patients on Medicare. Mr. President, it won't work. An insurance card does not equal accessible, available access to care. The people who suffer the most are going to be the seniors who have no other options. These are seniors who are relying today on Medicare. They were promised that Medicare would be there for them. We need to keep that promise. Instead of protecting seniors today, however, Democrats are trying to give Medicare to everyone else. 17 million seniors are going to lose access to the plans that they've chosen, that have worked for them, that they want to keep. Seniors are going to lose access to the doctors that Democrats push out of the system as they continue to put more and more people on Medicare. Democrats should not be building their takeover of the American health care system, Mr. President, on the backs of our seniors. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.